Welcome back to the Magna Center. We are starting the third period of hockey between the Sacred Heart Crusaders and the Mulock Ravens. A big period in the second for Mulock. They were down on three different penalties. At one point they were down on a five on three. They managed to score three goals to take a three to two lead over the Crusaders. But the Crusaders came back with goals from Bobby Bryce, he had a breakaway goal. And then a last minute goal by Nick Korik. The puck is dumped into the Mulock zone right after the first draw of the period. Referees for the game again, Josh Brillinger and Clark Davis. Face off, puck goes behind the Mulock net. Both teams have switched back to their original sides. The Crusaders trying to keep the puck in. They can't. It bounced over the stick at number four. There's a clean cut breakaway. 26 skating in on goal. A shot. Rebound. Goes in front. What a great save by Ryan Heisenhaj. He had to stop a great breakaway from Evan Rogers. He skated in. He took the puck away from number four for Sacred Heart, but couldn't make anything happen. That's been the pace of the game, at least for the last period on. Both teams will go on one rush and then followed immediately by another one. Eric Williams set to take the face off. He wins it. It's back at the point for the Crusaders. 55 skating in. There's a shot and another great save by Heisenhaj. Cam Cattell, the defenseman, had that one on the point. Put a shot through the legs of one Crusader. Couldn't have it. Another draw. Cattell had it again. Puck goes back out in front of the Crusader net. That's sent back to the point. 19 for Mulock. Has it back there. There's a shot in. There's a deflection. Oh, just off the post. Williams put it off the post. And play a stop there. The net came loose. An excellent one-timer on the part of Eric Williams for Mulock. He scored a goal in this game. He almost had his second goal there. Crusaders win the draw. They send it up ice. 89 skating in for Sacred Heart. Luciani clears it. Mulock has the puck in their end. They start the rush. Williams coming in. He shoots the puck into the Crusader zone. Crusaders try to get that out. It goes back to the point. 38 for Mulock has it. Williams back on the point. There was a run timer shot fanned on. Puck is behind the Crusader goal. It goes back to the point. Back into the left side. There's a shot and there's a goal. Pretty passing play on the part of the Ravens. Alex Wright sent that one in. Number 81, Tyson Bruce was hanging on the left side of the Crusader goal. He took a pass and put one in. Scores now four to three. And yet again, there was another penalty on that play. 13-21 left here in the third period. And now Bobby Bryce for Sacred Heart is going off. 3.21 left in the period. Score is 4-3 for Mulock. Crusaders down a man. It goes behind the Crusader net. Sacred Heart manages to dump it. There's Crescenzi leading the rush. He's got the puck in there. There's a shot just wide of the goal. Crusaders trying to keep it in. There's Kordick. He's got it out in front. There's a shot. And there's a goal! A phenomenal play from Kordick to Crescenzi, the captain, has put the Crusaders back into a tie. Four to four now. What a play that was. Kordick and Crescenzi, the two highest scorers on the team, connecting again. Crescenzi's second. Crescenzi's goal on Kordick's second assist of the game has tied the game at four. 
That wasn't even a minute between goals for both teams. Puck is now behind the Mulock zone. They take it out. A pass at center ice goes behind the Crusader goal. Number four for the Crusaders back there with number four Kyle, Kevin Sarazen for the Ravens. Sarazen still with it. He dumps it back to 47. He's hammered against the boards by four and the Crusaders have it again. Heads out in front of the net and 25. Skating out with it, dumps it for the Crusaders. That goes back in behind the Mulock zone. Puck is trapped in behind the Mulock net. That is out at the point. 23 keeps it in for Sacred Heart. Garrett Nickel, the big man for the Crusaders, tried to keep that one in. And the net comes loose. Ryan Heisenage was the goalie for the first two periods of play. He's been taken out and replaced by Liam Crummy, number 30. Puck is kept in by the Crusaders. It's behind the Mulock goal. Mulock's getting up with it now. They clear it out at center ice. That's kept in. It's still out at center. The Crusaders trying to keep it out. That goes into the Crusaders zone. 19 for Mulock has it. He's skating in. There's a shot. And there's a save. Crumney keeps that one out. And there will be yet another face-off. 24 seconds left in the power play. 11.45 left in the period. 4-4 tie the score. Crusaders trying to get it out. There's 38 for... Buck goes out at center ice and there's a two-on-one. Number 10 for the Crusaders trying to keep it in, and they lose it. Mulock skating back with it now over center ice. They get it into the Sacred Heart zone. Puck is lost, it's being handled at the, at the blue line. Back in behind the Crusader net. It's out in front, there's a save. Cromley led that off his pad. Puck is back at the point, 38. Sends it back in front of the net, it's out in front of the net, and there's a shot wide. Puck goes back to the point. Puck is fired in wide. 11 minutes left. Crusaders keep that one out. It goes back to center ice. That puck is dumped back behind the Crusader net. The Crusaders regroup. Alex Pruckner with the puck. And the whistle is blown here. And it will be an offside. Face off will now be to the left side of the Mulock goal. Cork skating in the ticket. Mulock won that draw, they get it out of their zone. That's flipped up, it's at the red line. Heavy hit there. And there he goes, number 81 in, skating in. There's a shot. Great save by Crumney, he holds it. 10.31 left. They had a great chance there. Tyson Bruce trying for a second goal of the game. Shot that one right into the glove of Crumney. Puck is drawn again. Number four for Sacred Heart has it. He shoots it up. Long lead pass for Crescenzi. Crescenzi keeping it in. He tries to get a shot in on Luciani, but Luciani covers it up. Crescenzi was sent in. He was being shadowed by the defenseman. Couldn't really get a good backhand off. And the faceoff will go again. Williams has it behind his own net. He tries to dump it out, and he does. Big rush now for Mulock. That's dumped in. Tyson Bruce in behind, and that is icing. Puck will go back into Mulock zone. Just a little over 10 minutes left here in the third period. Final game of the regular season has provided all the thrills that one could hope for. For the Crusaders, this has pretty much been their entire season in microcosm. Puck is won by Mulock. They try to get it out of their zone. 55 carrying it up. They lose it. 55 regains it. He passes across to a teammate. It's into the Crusader zone. Williams with the puck now. He's trying to get it into his own people. Crusaders intercept it. There's Crescenzi in with it. He sends in Kordic. 
They tried to send it in alone, and there goes Bru Tyson Bruce on the left side. He's skating in with it. It's out in front of the net. Bruce across the ice. Mulock has it. Shoots it on net. There's a shot and a take. Another bounce goal. Mulock once again takes advantage of a bad hop. And the score is now 5-4. to four. Don't know if that was Williams or not. The puck went in on the left side. There was a scrum in front of the net. It took a bad hop and went in behind Crumney. The score is now 5-4 to four for Mulock. Sacred Heart carrying that puck in. Pazelbun trying to keep it in. Puck is at the point. Crumney with it. Pazelbun tried to get that one in. Tripped up. Mulock has it. It's kept in by Sacred Heart. There's going to be another penalty called, and this one will be against... Who is this one against? Penalty is on number 11, Matthew Schmidt of Mulock, and that puts Sacred Heart on another two-minute penalty. Power play, rather. They have it out in front of the net. There's a shot on Luciani, and that sails into his glove. Tension is mounting here. 8.57 left in the game. Crusaders on the power play. Sacred Heart wins the draw. Mulock trying to get it out. There's a shot in on goal. And another glove saved by Luciani. Luciani has been the deciding factor in this game for Mulock. Crusaders have had to create some pretty good goals to get the puck by him. Shot in from the point, goes off a defender, that goes behind the net. 77 and 17 in there for both teams. Puck is trying to kept in there by the Crusaders, Garrett Nickel. He sends the puck back to five on the point, it goes back to Nickel. Nickel looking in. There's a shot, and once again, the glove of Luciani robs the Crusaders of a goal. 124 left in the power play as the Crusaders change lines. Crescenzi takes the draw. That goes to Kordic. Kordic skating in with it. He sends it across. Shot goes in on net just wide of the goal. Crescenzi in along back. Crescenzi holding it on the left wing. He sends it behind the net. Back on the point to Crescenzi. Crescenzi looking cross ice for a man. He finds Nickel. Nickel with the puck now. He's on the right wing. There's a shot in front of the net and there's a goal! The Crimson Connection comes through again. Once again, Crescenzi poised on the doorstep of the net. He put that one in, and who else but Cork gets the assist? This line has pretty much done all the scoring. The Crusaders' top line of Crescenzi, Cork, and Bryce has done most of the scoring. The score is now 5-5. Five to five. Team's not wasting any time. There's a 2-on-0. Korak in there again. He was blocked by a defender. They had a 2-on-0 for a minute. Two men in alone for Sacred Heart, but they couldn't make anything happen. The puck is still in the Mulock zone. 5-5. Five to five, 30 seconds left on the power play. Oh, they didn't take the power play off, so that was the power play goal, but they didn't remove it from the clock. Korak with it again. He's got it on the top point. Puck is shot in, deflected wide. Korak has it on the left side again. Luciani has a puck in front. There's a scramble, and Luciani covers it up for Mulock. Crusaders doing everything they can in the final minutes of the game to clinch a bye in the playoffs. Face off to the left side of the Mulock circle. Crusaders have it. There's a shot in. It goes behind the Mulock net. A poke check from Luciani. Puts it out. Williams has it for Mulock. He tries to get it out. Can't do it. The puck's in front of the net. There's another shot blocked by Luciani. Puck is out in front again. There's a shot and another great save by the Mulock goalie. Robert Luciani is standing on his head. 
to keep the puck out of the Mulock net. There will be another face-off. The Crusaders win that one. Back to the point, intercepted by Williams. He's trying to keep the puck out of the zone. There's a man on him, and Williams has the puck again. He brings it out, and there's a long leap pass. It goes off, 81 stick of Tyson Bryce. They try to shoot it out, they can't. Puck is at center ice. Williams skates around, tries to lead the rush again. He's skating in on goal. There's a deke. Shoot goes in to Crumley, who's had to make his first save in a couple of minutes. Fantastic played game here at the Magna Center in Newmarket. Scores 5 to 5. Sacred Heart Crusaders and the Mulock Ravens. Face off to the left of the Crusader goal. 6.20 left in the game. Sacred Heart trying to clear the puck out. There's four in there with Williams. Puck goes out in front of the net. There was almost a break. And the Crusaders managed to get it out. The puck is shot in behind the Mulock goal. Number 47 for Mulock. Gives it in. There's Nickel trying to keep it in behind the net. Puck is out and Mulock has a three on two. 19 skates it in. They throw the puck wide and the puck will roll all the way to the net where Crummy is waiting. A lot of action here in the third period. Both teams not giving an inch. Sizable crowd here at the Magna Center for this, the final game of the season. There's a shot that just went wide. Mulock has it on the point. Crusaders deflect it out. They carry it out of their zone. There's Crescenzi taking it into the Mulock zone. Puck is loose in front of the Crescenzi zone. Current Crescenzi, he kept it in. The puck is loose at center ice. It's picked up by Mulock. Crusaders intercept. Now it's back to Mulock. Both teams changing hands at center ice. The puck goes in behind the Crusader goal. 21 for the Crusaders. Gets it in. Adam Smith is behind the net with Kordick for the Crusaders. The puck is in Mulock possession. They get it back to the point. 38 across ice. There's a shot. Fan on that shot. And the Crusaders dump it in. Right for Mulock. Has it back behind his own net. He passes to 61. Now they get it out in front again. 17 for Mulock, skating in against 23 for Sacred Heart. 23 intercepted that one. He's trying to get it out, can't do it. Now they do, it's at center ice. Number 38 right, trying to put it in. It goes off a Crusader skate and back into the Mulock zone. Mulock trying everything it can to keep Newmarket's hot scoring line out of its zone. Puck goes into Newmarket's zone, uh, Sacred Heart's zone rather. The pass to Bryce, went past his stick, and there's icing. 4.19 left here in the third period. Score is tied at five. Face off will be to the left of the Crusader net. Puck is won. Crusaders have it back in behind the net. Now they get it out. Pass at the red line. Didn't do much. That went off a of skate. It's back into the Crusaders zone. They get it out. And there's a three on two for Sacred Heart. The player hauled down behind the net. No penalty on the play, but the Crusaders still have the puck. It's kept in. Now it's lost. And Wright sends it out of his zone. Puck is at the red line. 25 for Sacred Heart. Has it. He's going in on the right wing. There's a shot. There's a deep. Puck went off a skate, the Crusaders still keep it in. Number 89, Garrett Nickel. Trying to keep the puck in for the, for the Crusaders. He's got it on the right side, he gives a pass to 23. There's a deflection in front of the net! And that puck was deflected in front of the net by number 10 for Sacred Heart, but Luciani was right there again. Score is still 5-5. Five to five. Sacred Heart and Mulock in this, the final game of the regular season. And 
there will be yet another penalty to Mulock. Didn't see who went off there. A late penalty called on that play. And both teams are being warned. Play's gotten chippy as of late. There's Kordick with the puck. That goes back to the point. Back to Kordick at the top of the key. There's a shot by number four. That goes just behind the net. Wright trying to keep it out for the Ravens, and he does. He shoots that puck out. Cromney keeps it out. That is a four-minute penalty on that one. The Crusaders will be on the power play for much of the game. Three minutes, 30 seconds left in the power play. There's only 250 left in the game. Wright has it for Mulock. He carries it out. There's a long pass in. Williams has it on the left wing. He gets in front of the net. There's a shot. He shoots. He scores! Eric Williams, a sensational play. And once again, on the power play, the Crusaders get burned. Eric Williams with an impressive skate down the left wing. He deked back out in front of the defender and just put it in behind the goalie. So once again, that has got to be the fourth shorthanded goal. It is six to five for Mulock. Four goals have come via shorthanded. Three minutes left in the power play. And a high sticking is called and the play is stopped. Two minutes, 18 seconds left in the game. Six to five for Mulock here in the third period. The Crusaders will be spending the rest of the game on the power play. Whether or not they can make anything of it remains to be seen. Puck dropped outside of the Mulock zone. That goes back in behind the Crusader net. Five for Sacred Heart behind the, the net, waiting for his mates to set up. Sacred Heart starts the rush up. It goes back in. Trapped out at center ice. Wright, the captain for Mulock, dumps it. Five skating into his own zone. Mulock doing everything they can to not only kill the penalty, but kill the clock. 1.47 left in the game. Number 23 for Sacred Heart has it. He sends it up ice. The puck is now over the blue line. Number 10 skating in on the left wing. Puck is free. It goes to 25 on the point. Now there's 23. There's a shot just wide of the net. Puck is loose. And there's a goal! The Crusaders catch a break. Lucas Puzzlebon at just the right time. And they are still on the power play. 128, the goal coming at. It is 6-6. Six to six. The Crusaders caught a lucky bounce there. The puck went to the point. 23 shot it behind the net. It went wide, and the bounce went right behind the net to Puzzlebon, who popped it in. Crusaders have out their top line, as does Mulock. Puck goes behind the Crusader net. 21 for the Crusaders, has it. They're trying to get it out. They've got their top line out of Crescenzi, Korak, and Bryce. Korak skating in with it. He holds on to it. Puck goes to four at the point. Four, there's a shot in front of the net. Puck is skating loose. The puck, there's a loose puck. Just wide of the goal, says Bryce. Bryce almost had an empty net goal there. Puck is back on the point. Four passes it across to the left side. There's a shot and yet another save in the clutch by Luciani. There was about five or six shots on that last play by the Crusaders. And the timeout has been called. Owen Barnett shot that last one in. It deflected wide. There were about five players on the right side of the net. The puck went to the left side of the net. There was no one there, and it deflected wide. It went back to the point, and it was shot into the glove of Luciani. Can't imagine how many saves he has for this game. Fifty-three point one seconds left in the game. One twenty-five left on the power play. Score is six-six. And the timeout was called. Players skate back out. 
This has got to be difficult. If you're on the Mulock bench, they're down a man, less than a minute to go in the game. And they manage to clear it down the ice. Williams skating in there with Barnett. Barnett gets there first. He clears that one out to number 21, Adam Smith. Smith now holding it, looking for a man to pass to. The puck is out in front of the net. Crescenzi carrying it up. Now over to Kordic. Back to Crescenzi. Crescenzi left it for someone. Williams knocks it loose. He's skating up one-on-one -on -one with Barnett. Williams skating in. He deeks out in front of the net. And the puck will be covered up with 20.8 seconds left. Crammy had to be present on that shot. Williams has burned the Crusaders twice in this game. Even with 20 seconds left, it's too soon to say if overtime is needed. Puck is behind the Crusader net. Williams skating in with it. Gary Nickel trying to get the puck out. 10 seconds left in the period. Crusaders are on a rush. Nickel sends it in. There's a shot just deflected off Luciani. And the period will end. And we will go to overtime. After a magnificent period of hockey, both teams scored three goals apiece. The score is 6-6. Six to six. No, no overtime. Well, that's it then. So with a last furious rush, no overtime in this league. I apologize to those viewers who are hoping for, or listeners rather, who are hoping for overtime, but what do you expect? This is high school hockey. So in a last mad furious rush, the Crusaders managed to get the tie, 6-6, six to six, so they finished the season at 7-2-1. A well-played game by both sides. Post-game report coming up.